hello everyone in my last video we, we have learned how to create im user and uh, how to give the programmatical access with that so anyhow how we have given the program we have created the user and we have given the programmatical access so now we have to use that access key and secret key okay and uh, i will interact with uh, s3 and pull some s3 bucket from there pull some data from bucket and even though if you can if you want to use any services using access key and secret key you can do it do it so i have access key and secret key here if you see i have already created access key and secret key okay it is uh, it is already here i have one okay it is our active it is showing that it's the access key and the secret key will be showing so i have copied and pasted here this is my access key and uh, secret key if i'll go to the action i can de deactivate all as well so so i i have the access key and secret key also i have kept it okay so so we will use this access key and secret key and we will go to s3 and so that some data so before that you have to install aws cli in, in your com in your computer so if you see here this is my console and if i will give here aws it will give command not found so you have to go to this link and download the aws msi okay you can go here and i will just download this I mean, this is very simple process just uh, simple installation if you see this is downloading it will take some second to download and you have to install it once you install you your aws cli will be enabled and uh, you can use aws cli before using that you have to configure the aws cli so this is a method you have to write so if you see here, I have written here AWS CLI and the profile and uh, I have written the profile name. Why I am doing like this? Because from this computer, from this laptop, I have to access multiple AWS account. So if I will configure without profile, then it will be tough to, we have to configure every time. Because if you are giving profile, you can access, your, your access key and secret key will be attached to this profile and you can use this profile to do any api call from using aws cli okay so it is better to because if you are working in a company you have that uh, aws dev account prod account and test account okay so you, it is good like you can configure the aws with profile and whenever you want to access aws prod you can use aws prod profile and if you want to access aws dev you can access aws dev profile okay so that's all i will show you how to do, do this one I can see here it's downloaded so i just click here and uh, install okay the simple method accept next next install method will take some time and it will be installed yes it's completed let's finish it now if i will go to my cli i think i need to restart my terminal but let's check it will not work obviously so close it and open it again git i already told how to install git and all so it's easy and how to configure this type of terminal prompt okay now i will go and i will just type aws let me just increase the font you can go to the first text In the text only we can increase right yeah it's here in the text and we'll just give to 20 okay apply uh, okay this much this much is enough or okay this is fine i can say this this is good apply a close okay okay as you can see now it is working fine clear it now I will configure this AWS CLI. Okay. So in my next video I will configure the AWS CLI. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much.